It was the throw out in my area where people put all their rubbish out in the street to be picked up by the council and my sister was walking home with her boyfriend and she came home and said, Jeff, there's a lawnmower down the street. So I said, well, why didn't you get it sort of thing. So I quickly went down and got it and this is what's resulted. You know, it's a Victor power talk. You see, this is, some people might not know, but like, well, I don't know, but that's the power talk engine in there. It's got that sort of square looking head, but that's only for people who don't know. That's quite, everybody who repairs these would know that. Um, it's got quite a few things missing, but that handle there is all cracked. I don't know why it's got wire on the catcher. Maybe he lost his catcher at broke. But um, I've been looking on the internet with another guy who watches my videos and he um, he sent me the muffler, Junkyard Dog I think his name is, he sent me the muffler for that and we were just looking and um, we found some ridiculously expensive mowers that sold for like 160 bucks. Something similar to this, well better condition obviously, no rust or anything, but he just touched it up really. So that sort of prompted me to really, you know, spend the extra, you know, 20 minutes to half an hour in making them look really presentable and getting that extra 50, 60 bucks. I think if I clean this up, clean all the rust off that, um, give it a coat of clear lacquer, which is what you do to make it look shiny, um, I should be easily able to get 150, 160 bucks for this. I made about ninety dollars this weekend from fixing mowers for the few various people and selling them. Um, and selling a whip snipper. No, hang on. I made thirty from the whip snipper, then sixty for a mower and and a whip snipper. Twenty and twenty. So no, that's like hundred and ten or something. Not too much. But I realise that if I'm going to be doing this more seriously, I need to learn a lot more about the victors because from like the early style victors, which are probably this one here. To the later newer model ones, not later. To the newer model ones, getting confused. Anyway, they had a very subtle changes in the carburetor, and one such change is this poppet valve, and you can't see it, but there's actually written on it A, B, and C, which I had never ever noticed. I thought every poppet valve was the same, and that actually, you have to actually look at it. The camera's not going to show it, but you can. But there's little steps in it, and depending on where you put it in the motor, like which way it's spun around will depend on maybe idle speed or something like that so I'm probably going to go to a library today which I, I believe is one of those things, places where they keep books, I'm not quite sure uh, I probably haven't been to one before but anyway, uh, just kidding um, yeah so I'm probably going to go get a manual which I already do have photo printed which I already do have um, pictures of every page on the internet but it's hard to hard to read on the computer so um, I may as well just go get one and read it and hopefully that'll give me some clues about them. My battery ran dead and didn't save the what I was um, saying obviously so pretty much I'm just cleaning up these bases and see how nice that looks now nice and clean it's still got a few paint chips and it's actually had something hit the deck there but that's all right all right so you know I've cleaned both sides of the wheels they look good um, I will be cleaning this thing up, that, that should come up nice, um, clean that up, like take it off obviously, clean it up, give this piece here even just a bit of uh, spray paint with satin black to make it shiny, um, same with this one here, clean them up, um, I don't really know about greasing the wheels, because they don't really have proper seals on them, so if dirt gets in there they're just going to turn to shit sort of thing. But anyway, catches, give them a coat of clear lacquer or um, something to make them shine. Presentation is everything pretty much, as you probably all know. Um, I'm going to take this motor off here because it's got no stickers on the base or anything. Take that motor off here and put it on that base over there that has stickers. Uh, clean that up. This is. I've just, I just put a coat of clear lacquer on this and it's turned up quite nice. It's just a bit more black in colour, just a bit more rich, the colour, I guess you'd say. And maybe, I don't know, I might not have time to fix this one, but I probably would if I got my arse into gear. So, that's 
what I'm up to doing, cleaning cleaning and making them look really presentable. And also, does anybody know how you test these coils? Like hooking them up to like a 12 volt battery or something? Or a 6 volt battery? Because I've had a few go bad on me and I'm pretty sure that they don't really go bad that common, that often. Because they're just a coil of wire, there's not much to really go wrong with them. That's what I don't really understand when coils go bad. They're just a coil of wire. There's not much to go wrong really. Um, also, I've got a manual I think I said earlier in the video. This is made over like two days this video. And I've pretty much already read through the whole thing. And it explained what that hole was for. So really, if you want to learn stuff, you've got to um, read, read the manuals for the engines. Um, when David's farm told me what that hole, that thing there was on one of his videos, I was pretty, pretty amazed because I had never seen that. But then I just read the manual and realised that anyone would have realised that if they've just read a manual. It wasn't a. I don't know what he said. I don't know whether he said a handy hint or a handy tip or trick or something like that. But it's not really a handy tri tip trick. The manufacturers do that and they tell you in the manual if you just read one. So, guys, read manuals. Learn for yourself. You'll learn a shitload more if you read the manuals, and you'll probably remember it. Also, I've got to get a can of black high temperature paint for the mufflers, because they, because uh, what's the point of cleaning up all the deck and stuff if the muffler looks like shit and it's all rusted? And also handlebars, just yeah. give them a light spray of satin black or gloss black, whatever it is.